A Network Slash MLM Marketing Guide Chapter 1 A Network Slash MLM Marketing Guide Introduction To clear up any misunderstanding, network marketing, multi-level marketing, direct selling, network sales, matrix selling and MLM plans are all interchangeable terms used to describe the same type of activity. To put it into as simplistic terms as I can, MLM strictly defined is about selling products by getting people to sell for you which is legal while pyramid schemes are all about recruiting people to sell for you with the intention of making your money by constantly recruiting new people to sell for you and pay you an upfront fee of $100 or so which is illegal. MLM is simply a selling technique where one guy starts with one product or a series of products and tries to sell them to people but his hook is that in addition to selling his products to people, he tries to convince them that his products are so great that they too should get on his bandwagon of success, sell his products on a commission basis and also recruit other people to sell his products. If it's legitimately selling product that's the motivation behind MLM, that's fine and perfectly legal but if the main man and his few cronies are really trying to suck people into become dealers for them in order to suck money out of their upfront fees, then it's a pyramid scheme and illegal. It's the motivation behind it. Are you ultimately trying to sell product or trying to recruit new dealers so you can sell them motivational tapes, books, etc.? Some ways to determine the legality of an MLM operation are Exaggerated claims about getting rich The upfront sales kit is either given to or sold at cost to the new dealer as opposed to being sold for a profit. These are good products sold at reasonable prices as opposed to fake products that have no real market. A product sold at unreasonably high prices. The new dealer shouldn't have to invest much money upfront or buy much inventory. A fee paid for every dealer recruited is a pyramid scheme as opposed to straight commission on sales which is MLM. I can think of two infomercials that try to get people to sell their products. SMC wants you to sell their products at flea markets, through your own retail store, etc. This other infomercial says they'll pay you $200 for every new dealer you sign up to sell their vitamins. You can see the difference there. One focuses on selling product. The other focuses on recruiting new dealers. The scam part of multi-level marketing. Right up front, let it be known that most MLM plans are simply people pyramids, companies that make their profits from new member fees as opposed to through selling products. The logic behind pyramids is that people constantly recruit new distributors hoping to make a fabulous killing from commissions from the sales of the distributors their distributors recruit as well as upfront fees for motivational tapes, books, etc. But in the end, taken to the extreme, you have a bunch of distributors running around and nobody to sell to because they're all distributors. This actually happened in a small town in Kentucky a few years ago. Everybody was a distributor, there were no customers. These pyramid-type ventures which bank on recruiting new distributors just for the sake of making money from their startup fees is illegal, however, the concept of a master company simply supplying product to their salesmen is not so many MLM companies are careful in their literature not to describe the pyramid distributor recruitment strategy too much if at all. Some MLM companies are successful for everybody like Tupperware and several cosmetic companies. The latest gimmick is the nutritional supplement market. My opinion is to stay away, the market is way oversaturated with vitamin pills that average Joe can buy at his drug store for a few bucks anyway. A pyramid club means a sales device whereby a person, upon condition that he make an investment, is granted a license or right to solicit or recruit for economic gain one or more additional persons who are also granted such license or right upon condition of making an investment and who further perpetrate the chain of persons who are granted such license or right upon such condition. Pyramid clubs also include any such sales device which does not involve the sale or distribution of any real estate, goods, or services, including but not limited to a chain letter scheme. Pyramids are illegal because they're inherently fraudulent. In order to achieve the profits that are promised, a never-ending chain of participants must be recruited. A saturation point will be reached and no more recruits or customers will be available. When this occurs, 
the most recent recruits can't receive what has been held out to them to cause them to join and they lose all or part of what they paid to join the scheme. After just a few levels there would have to be millions of participants to keep the chain going. Chain letters are not the only illegal pyramids. Multi-level sales schemes can be illegal also. Many of them are nothing but chain letter schemes with the nominal addition of some goods or services to be distributed. Legal multi-level marketing systems are designed to distribute goods and services and are not disguised as endless chains. A pyramid club is present if participants make investments in return for the right to recruit, for economic gain, others who in turn recruit additional participants. Both the investment and recruiting elements must be present to constitute an illegal pyramid scheme. Recruiting for economic gain means if anything is received directly or indirectly as a result of recruiting new participants. Even earnings based on sales made by new participants recruited, also constitutes economic gain. Evaluating multi-level sales schemes is a difficult process and many considerations must be answered in order to determine the legality or illegality of each multi-level plan or program. Is there more stress toward recruitment than for the sale of the product? Are the claims, as to what the earnings are, based on actual experience of typical participants? They better watch out for the entries made in the IRS computers pertaining to their fabulous income claims. Are there misleading representations? You would have to get your attorney to review specific circumstances of each plan or program in order to determine which ones are legal or illegal. Even then you can't be sure. A typical multi-level get-rich scheme is where you're offered a book-selling plan for $5. You're assigned a code number and mail out 500 brochures. When your name reaches the fifth level you're supposed to have collected something like $50,000 in commission for 100,000 books which sold for a total of $500,000. This is based on only 10 orders received by you and 10 orders received by each of your downliners who also mailed 500 brochures. If only 10 people in the entire United States initially worked this one plan with the same success you're supposed to have, there would be 5,000 brochures out the first level, 50,000 the second, 500,000 the third level, 5 million the fourth level and 50 million in the fifth level. That would amount to some 11 million dollars in postage with brochures delivered to over one half of the 90 million mail order buyers in the US. This type of program will collapse under its own weight. After one level there is usually a complete dropout. Most such plans get started because of exorbitant, dishonest claims. Tell the truth in an ad on multi-level marketing and there are very few takers. Change the ad to greatly exaggerated claims, such as earn $100,000 a year working from the home part-time and the inquiries pour in. The response on this kind of ad doesn't mean that anyone will make any money. According to Webster, the word paradox means, something with seemingly contradictory qualities or phrases. In MLM, there is a paradox that causes major confusion that must be understood and dealt with. Here is the problem. MLM companies by law cannot aggressively push the MLM opportunity as the main reason for joining their program. They must emphasize their products and services and explain the MLM opportunity as only a nice extra benefit. If they don't, all kinds of local, state and federal government officials will attack them, therefore, they must be extremely careful about what their literature, advertising, and promotions material states, what they say in meeting, etc. All MLMers are aware of the MLM paradox problem. Everyone knows, including the MLM companies and all the distributors, that the real reason most people get involved with MLM is for the opportunity to get distributors, yet, the MLM literature and the MLM distributor cannot tell you this directly without crossing over the fine line of being illegal. In other words, it's illegal to promote a MLM company if the sole purpose is to earn profits by signing up new distributors with no regard to the usefulness of the product or service. Where does this leave the new MLM distributor? Well, no one is officially allowed to tell him how to go out and aggressively recruit new members. Instead, he is always taught how to promote the product and then as an afterthought, told the distributor opportunity. All upstanding MLM companies will follow this procedure. 
Before you get taken in, determine if you would like to have the product they're offering, if you want it and before you start sending out letters to recruit new members, do some common sense market research. What's the real value of the product, how many people will stand in line to buy it and how much of your time and money is it going to cost you in order to make a profit. Beware also of deals that require you to purchase an inventory or maintain a certain sales level. Look for the bad parts of an offer and then weigh these against the ease with which you'll be able to make a sale. At the bottom line, if you have a hard time selling it then the people you recruit to sell it for you will find it even harder to sell and that'll be the end of your big money multi level program. A reliable firm recently made an extensive survey. For over a year they accumulated all incoming mail which advertised various typed of pyramid and slash or multi-level marketing programs then a questionnaire was designed and sent to over 5,000 of these multi-level program participants. Of the replies received, over 98% said they lost money. Less than one half of 1% claimed they broke even but when asked if they would be interested in joining one more foolproof multi-level program, all but one replied no. In their book Mail Fraud Laws, the U.S. Postal Service states that the endless chain schemes of pyramids and multi-level marketing are just as illegal as the old-fashioned chain letters. While all multi-level distributorships are not fraudulent, the pyramid type resembles the illegal the illegal chain letter scheme. The profits come not from selling the product but in inducing others to put their life savings into a distributorship. Where a scheme flourishes, the supply is soon exhausted and the new investors are left with a faded dream. Postal inspectors recommend that one should be wary if the promoters are more interested in selling distributorships than they are in selling a product or service that consumers need. Ask those selling franchises for the names and addresses of those making the fabulous profits. Ask to see their business records and interview those actually operating a franchise. Also, check the company with your Better Business Bureau, BBB.org. Another good idea when you're solicited to join one of these programs is to take the sales literature you receive to your local postal fraud inspector and ask them for their opinion. Also, beware of schemes where you're instructed to send checks to a number of different names and addresses. This is a sure sign that you're joining an illegal endless chain. Also, watch out for schemes where you're assigned a number and slash or others use a number instead of their right name and address. What are they afraid of or are they trying to throw postal authorities off their trail? A good tip to keep in mind is when any sales material you receive in the mail states that it's not illegal or perfectly legal or something similar, it usually is 100% illegal and can get you into more trouble than you've ever bargained for. Always keep in mind, ignorance of the law is no excuse but if you don't believe these facts, by all means join as many get-rich-quick schemes as you can afford. You can bet your life that someone will appreciate your money and may be getting rich just as quick as their sales literature promises but we bet it won't be you and don't be surprised if one day you get a formal request from postal authorities asking you to immediately discontinue your mail order slash internet sales activities. Use this as a checklist before making any final decision. Avoid the many get-rich-quick offers like earn $100,000 over the weekend or something like that. Legitimate multi-level businesses and consultants are at the heart of a vast communications network and have never heard of anybody earning vast amounts of money with such offers. Pyramid plans offer rewards for the act of recruiting and require large inventory purchases to get in their programs. They lack interest in retailing to the consumer and they make deceptive claims designed to defraud people of money. Legitimate MLM companies require new distributors to purchase only one or a few items of what they want and the product is probably one they would buy even if the business opportunity was not offered or available. Avoid plans with more than 7 levels. Firms using more than 7 levels do so to make the profits look fantastic at the last few levels. These are usually the ones that pay low commissions and offer products that are overpriced. Avoid programs offering to print and mail brochures for you because there is no way for you to know how many will actually be mailed. Also, if any are mailed, it's usually by bulk rate which is the most ineffective way to send them out. Avoid programs with complicated commission formulas. This seems to always result in an excuse for not paying any commissions to many or, in some cases, 
all of their distributors. Avoid plans promoting products not useful to most people or that cost more than the retail price paid in stores. Also beware of any plan that lets people become distributors without buying a product. This is not fair because most distributors, when given this option, will not buy the product. This results in lost sales all the way down the line. Network slash MLM Marketing 1 MLM as a business venture is just like anything. These are the best of times and worst of times. There are winners and losers among MLM companies and winners and losers as individual MLM marketers. Pick a product that can sell. Generally, cosmetics sell easier than health supplements. You can buy both at any drugstore but cosmetics are a self-pampering item. There's more room for sales if you can package it up right. Health products just are. There's nothing emotional or glamorous about them. Every woman buys cosmetics. Less than half buy vitamins. Some MLM companies have been around for a long time and have made money by getting people to sell for them such as several famous cosmetics companies, Tupperware, etc. But if a new company comes out with a bunch of hype about how to get rich selling their stuff whatever it might be, usually a new, innovative product, they could be just in it to get as much money as they can from the upfront fees of their members who have to shell out money for the product and they want you to constantly recruit new members for your own downline, chances are that they're a fly-by-nighter in it for the quick fix then disappear leaving all these people with their unsold inventory and expensive motivational tapes. Most people who make it in MLM learn to be good. You fail your way to the top. You're lousy at first and if you stick with it you get better. You can make a lot of money if you're tough, good, and stick with it. You have to have cast iron nerves to face all the rejection you'll get and prepare your distributors to be strong in the face of rejection too. Don't take it personally. It's just part of the process you have to go through in order to find good customers and new distributors. It's a numbers game. Approach a lot of people in order to get a few good leads. Don't be a manager who runs his company on bureaucracy but at the same time don't be too friendly such that your distributors become dependent on you. Try to teach them to be great salespeople then encourage self-sufficiency and independence. Your job is to teach them how to successfully build their own downline and not hassling you in the process. Sincerely believe that you're helping people with your products and helping your distributors develop great lives for themselves. Don't be a fast-talking sleaze. Offer quality products and believe in them. Don't lie to people about how much money they could make as distributors. If you're honest, they might give it shot but if you lie then six months later, they see they're not making nearly the money you promised, they'll quit, and all that time training them will be wasted. Create a good training plan that can teach anyone to create their own downline, put it on video or on a website then circulate it around to try to find new distributors for yourself. The arguments supporting MLM are The new sales prospect can purchase the products for himself at wholesale prices. The product is cheaper than retail because the company has no retail storefront or high advertising bills. You can get into it cheaply and essentially run your own business from home. You don't need inventory beyond samples for presentations. No territory restrictions. You can sell the product anywhere. You can entice customers by being more personable with them than at a retail outlet. Your family can help you out. You can meet new people and learn new things all while making money. The golden rules are to look for high quality people to be your frontline distributors and help them any way you can. In the end, they'll be your bread and butter, bringing you the collective results of all the people they have selling for them. Get them ready for the tough world of sales. Have inspirational slash educational meetings every month or so. If you truly believe in your products and that they're worthy of resale by ordinary people then you should have the guts to approach the nonprofits in your area, the church groups, the charities, the social organizations, give them your demonstration and recruit them to sell for you thus raising funds for their group to do whatever it is they do. The girl guides sell cookies, some church groups sell Christmas wreaths and so on. Try to convert the head guy or gal in the group to your cause then they can sell it to their people, 
reap the commissions and you make a good profit with hardly any work involved except supplying product to the group leader who has his 100 group members out there selling for him. Put little ads on local bulletin boards, manual and online, little ads in the newspaper, contact social groups on the poor and middle class side of town inviting people to come hear a free presentation about they can earn extra money on the side selling a product that everybody needs. In order to make it in MLM, you have to have a good presentation, either live or on videotape to pass out to progressive members then teach them how to do the exact same thing you're doing going around recruiting people to sell for you and supplying the product. You have to constantly find individuals and groups to make your pitch to. Books about public speaking are at number 808 at the library. Don't make incredible claims. People will see through it and reject the offer. Just be honest and enthusiastic. Remember, you naturally believe in the ability of your products to help people live better lives. Sales parties are a situation where your downline people set up a party where they invite people they know into their home, demonstrate a product, lingerie, cookware, cosmetics, jewelry, or bring you in to demonstrate it, take orders, pass them on to you then collect a percentage commission of sales. You have to teach your people to do this and teach the people they recruit to sell to do this. When looking for distributors, don't waste time on average, loser type people although a few sometimes get the knack of it and become great sales people. Focus on sociable, enthusiastic people probably working a full-time job or running a household and sell them on the ability to earn extra money in their spare time on their own terms. Emphasize selling great products that people need. Send letters to community leaders, teachers, ministers, and other middle class types introducing yourself and inviting them to a presentation to learn about how to make extra money. Set up booths at trade shows, county fairs, flea markets, etc. With your best distributors. Market on the internet. Create a good website. Hand out business cards anywhere, something like. Earn money selling products at low prices that everybody needs. Salesmaster.com 800-888-8888 Recorded message Place ads like this in any publication you want. If you sell computer products, advertise in the local college newspaper and get a few students to sell your computers on campus. Introduce new products gradually. You don't want to be too scattered all over the place and lose your vision. If something sells well, keep it as your bread and butter. Don't deviate too far. Books about MLM are at hashtag 658.85-86 or HF5415 HF5438 at the library. Network slash MLM marketing too. Make no mistake about it. Multi-level marketing has made a lot of people rich already and will make a lot more people even richer in the coming years but it's the same old story, it's all about the product. There are only a few MLM magazines out there. Simply get them and look the ads over. Maybe jewelry, cosmetics, and kitchenware might sell but I'm warning you again, don't get involved in any nutritional supplement type so-called system because you'll never sell the stuff. The only people that give a damn about health are vain, young folk and they buy their supplements through the ads in muscle magazines or at GNC at the mall and older folk who have medical problems. You could sucker some of them in but that's about it. People buy billions of dollars worth of junk food every year. Do you think they give a damn about the so-called magical cleansing effects of shark cartilage or colloidal or whatever that crap is that I see being hyped all over the place? It's ridiculous. MLM offers the opportunity for anyone to operate their own business. For less than $50 in many cases, you can get involved with an MLM program and the dream of earning hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Multi-level marketing is based upon the idea of each person involved selling only to his or her friends, with each of these people in turn, introducing their friends into the program. It's an endless chain idea that has some money-making potential if done right and not everybody is doing it. Theoretically, everybody knows or comes into contact with an average of 100 different people each week. If only 10 of those people were to give you $10 per week, you would have an income of $100 per week and then, if these people were to duplicate your efforts, 
passing back to you, $1 for each new person they enlisted into the program and then each person recruited perpetuated the program, you income would soon be astronomical. Undoubtedly, you've heard the story of how you can become rich simply by saving a penny a day and doubling it each day for 30 days. And then, there are the pyramid or chain letter schemes that we've all been offered. MLM, in principle, works the same way, with the only difference being in the product offered for sale. All of these programs work to some degree but because there are government restrictions and laws against the perpetuation of these ideas, most of them make a big splash when they're first introduced and then quickly die out, however, the concept of initiating a program that sells itself via an endless chain will always be popular because it holds the promise of bringing riches if only the chain isn't broken. It works because everybody wants to become rich. It's an idea that anyone, regardless of education, background, or basic financial status, can perpetuate from the privacy of his or her own home. The basic fallacy of multi-level marketing is in the number of people each individual participant can easily enlist into the program. After you've talked to all your relatives, your neighbors, co-workers, and friends across town, you're more or less stymied as to new people to bring into the program short of hanging around at the mall accosting total strangers. The bottom line is simply that you cannot recruit everybody you talk to. In fact, if you enlist 10% of the people you attempt to interest in the program, you'll be doing well. You're going to get some rejections and these rejections are basically what turns most people off, deflates their egos, drains their enthusiasm and in the end, is the primary reason they drop out. You're going to make the really big money in multi-level marketing by selling business startup kits and not really from spending time inspiring or motivating the people you've already brought into the program. In other words, sell the program to as many people as possible and count on the motivational money-making opportunities within your dealer startup kit to propel them to put forth the effort to get out and try to make some money on their own. To be successful in selling and this is the secret to multi-level riches, you must present your program to as many people as possible. Close the sale with your first presentation and let the buyer either get with it or die from his own lack of initiative. It's as simple as that, the more people you present your program to, the more sales you're going to make. Don't worry about the people who have already bought from you. They either will or they won't sell product and there's nothing you can do about it. Your choices of advertising are the same as with anything else. You could try to recruit new distributors in person or you could place ads then when people send for free information about your fabulous platinum coated, gold mine opportunity, you send out direct mail pieces which get maybe a 1% response. If you sign up a few good distributors from that, you're doing great. This is expensive because you have to get professional looking literature made up or pay for it through the master company then you have to talk to your potential new distributors on the phone and you pay the long distance fees. You can market locally by talking to friends and acquaintances, handing out flyers AR shopping centers, going door to door or having party plan sales or holding get rich seminars. There are countless reports, manuals, books, and other publications that supposedly tell you how to attain riches in mail order slash internet sales, party plan selling and even street corner sales. The thing is, all of these how-to publications try to instruct you how to put a mailing piece together, how often to send your offers out and even the importance of neatness and quality within your offer but few if any come right out and help you get your offer to your most likely customers. As you know, unless an interested buyer sees your offer, you're not going to make any money. Most people spend hundreds of dollars and never make any money simply because they don't know how to get their offers to the people without it costing them an arm and a leg. The root of MLM success is the sponsoring of new people into their businesses, much in the same way sales agents find new retailers to handle their products. Successful organizations such as Amway and Mary Kay have thousands of distributors but even these had to start with one or two motivated people sponsoring a few other motivated people. The ultimate test of an MLM company is the quality, price, and reusability of the product. A good firm is usually founded on products with rapidly expanding popularity, day-to-day -day use in the home and a regular repurchase required. 
they should be better quality and at least as competitively priced as the same goods bought in stores. The stages or MLM work like this. 1. You become involved with an MLM company first as a customer because the product offers substantial quality and savings. 2. Because the products are good, you tell others about them. 3. Rather than send these people to your distributors, you become a sponsored distributor yourself for these new people and if these people, let's say there are 5, no 5 other who will buy the product, you have 25 people buying products through you. 4. If these 25 each know 5 people, you have 125. If those 125 know 5 people, you have 625 at the 4th level buying through you in a distributor's network you built from only 5 people. If these people purchased only $30 each month worth of products, that would be $300,000 in gross sales and you could expect to earn at least one quarter of that figure, probably much more. 5. Commission and bonuses vary with product and company but most go through 4 to 8 levels and have 2 or 3 levels at which substantial higher commissions are paid. This encourages new distributors to build those levels. 6. Some of the networks inside of the networks will end at certain levels with people buying but not sponsoring new people and some will involve more than 5 people. Distributors will always be your best customers and biggest money makers. 7. The best companies are the blue chip firms offering a wide range of products such as Amway and Shackley. New ones emerge all the time and some of the fattier MLM companies die quickly but they can still make good money quickly for distributors with established downlines. Choose your product line carefully, recruit heavily, and always expand your business education as you grow. Network slash MLM Marketing 3 the bottom line is that MLM companies exist to move products from their warehouses and thus increase their sales volume. The second objective is to recruit an army of commission-only salespeople. Generally speaking, few people have any real sales experience and thus, if offered the opportunity to take a job as a commission-only salesperson, they'd run from it. Almost all multi-level marketing companies subtly encourage you to break the law by encouraging a Ponzi scheme which is any kind of money-making opportunity where you get paid by recruiting, enlisting, or soliciting other people to follow your lead and continue a chain of events. These things are illegal because if they really worked, by the time one person had attained level number 5, he would have signed everybody on the face of the earth with only the first two levels receiving any of the money there would be nobody left for the third, fourth, and fifth levels to sell to. Multi-level marketing companies get around the law by stating within their bylaws that it's strictly forbidden to promote or attempt to sell the program by mail. Then, when the postal inspectors come calling on the little guy, the MLM company says, he did it, we don't do such things, here, look at our bylaws. Signing up distributors that pay you a commission is hard work. You have to spend money to train them and keep them interested in the MLM product. You have to hold meetings and pay astronomical telephone charges. You have to spend money faxing information to prospective distributors as well as lots of money on postage and printing. Promoting an MLM program will not be cheap. You'll have to have some money to invest before you can reap the financial rewards. Multi-level marketing is really a simple concept but it gets confusing when the levels grow beneath you. Just like a family tree starts out with your mom and dad then doubles to your grandparents and then more than quadruples to your great-grandparents, a multi-level downline is the same thing. It's confusing until you understand it. As mentioned previously, unless the organization you're dealing with offers top quality products at discount prices it's difficult to make a living with the multi-level marketing concept a person has to knock on a great number of doors or send out a massive amount of literature through the mail in order to find qualified people who are interested in pursuing this kind of activity if multi-level programs worked as good as many of them advertise the nation would be flooded with solicitations thousands of times over for every plan on the books most multi-level plans state that you can make thousands of dollars by duplicating yourself a few times and your downline doing the same. It never works that way. You're fortunate if a small percent of your downline produces much of anything unless you're able to spend a great deal of time teaching and promoting their business as well as your own.
most of the promotional materials suggest you solicit your friends, neighbors, and relatives, at least as a starter. Many people are reluctant to take advantage of their friends. Of course, if you have the best bargains available anywhere, you may be doing them a great favor. Multi-level companies usually offer newsletters, catalogs, direct mail pieces and cameras slash ready material which members can have copied or printed locally. They often have name lists available or advise members how to compile their own lists. Mail order slash internet sales slash multi-level companies will usually dropship direct to your customers if you wish. They're also set up to do most of the paperwork and accounting, leaving members with little detail work. Network slash MLM marketing for if you decide to try a multi-level program you're usually required to pay a fee for which you will obtain all the materials and information pertaining to the organization, the products, and how the program works. You may also be asked to purchase some of the items you will be selling. You will contact friends and neighbors, explaining how the program works, try to sell them merchandise from the catalogs and sign them up as members if possible. You will compile lists of prospects and make direct mailings. As your business develops, you will need to contact those in your downline periodically and offer sympathy, help and assistance in order to make the business grow. Many other incentives, prizes and extra commissions are offered by some firms. Make sure the organization you choose and the programs they offer are legal. If it's just a pyramid scheme whereby members are merely signing up others for a fee and little if any merchandise is being sold it could be illegal. In any event, this type of operation will produce little if any money-making opportunity. If in doubt it's advisable to check out the firm with the Better Business Bureau or with the postal authorities when it involves direct mail methods. Remember also, there are some fine multi-level firms offering good opportunities for success-oriented people. Those who thoroughly enjoy meeting and working with others, who are not afraid of hard work, not easily discouraged and who can persevere in the face of many disappointments, have made their fortunes in multi-level marketing. With such attributes and the right program together with proper training you can be a success in this kind of business. Most people who try network marketing fall flat on their face. Only red-blooded, eager beaver experienced sales professionals, ever make any real money. By the time you hear about the great opportunity, the originator has already signed up every close friend, associate and heavy hitter, he can find. Every last one of them will forever and always make money off you as part of your upline. In a typical network marketing plan, in order for you to make bigger commissions, the vast majority people that join rarely break even, let alone make any commissions with all the monthly fees you pay, you got to recruit other people into the program. Whoever you sign up becomes part of your downline and remains on a level below you. In order for things to get cooking, the pyramid program has to grow by geometric progression. This is good news for people at or near the top levels. Remember, the big boys are already in, waiting to collect the share of the loot your hard work will earn them. It's bad news for you. As the plan expands both vertically and horizontally you will be in direct competition with more and more sponsors and distributors, each trying to recruit a downline or steal yours. Not only is there a limited number of people interested in becoming your pawn slash partner, there are only so many potential customers interested in the product or service you're supposed to provide. People in your downline will jump ship to a different program or try and find a better sponsor on their own all the time because they can't make any money under you. Before long your potential market has soaked up all the sponsors it can take. You'll be bumping into one another trying to squeeze out the last possible recruit and sale. Now the cream rises to the top. If you're a great salesman, you probably already got a good downline and know how to recruit and hold effective workers. If you're not sooner or later you'll discover that all you're really doing is shooting yourself in the foot. You'll either quit or try another program and repeat the process in a different program. Here are a few quick tests that should help you decide if the MLM offer you're considering is credible. Does the sales literature contain detailed description or its products or services or only countless references to how easily and quickly you can make money with little work or commitment? 
if products or services are only mentioned as an afterthought, if at all, you're asking for trouble. The program is probably designed just to push dealerships, sponsorships, distributors, or whatever terms are used. Does the MLM offer products or services that the public needs and wants? Is there really demand for what you're going to offer? Lots of luck if you restuck with something that doesn't generate repeat business. It's the lifeblood necessary to generate the commissions you got into the plan for in the first place. Can similar products be found in retail stores or be obtained through mail order at about the same price? Your commissions and bonuses, if any, are based on sponsoring people who can fill orders. When you have a good product, that's what makes the money for you. Even if you have a good product, if it can be purchased through regular retail channels, ask yourself why people are going to buy from you instead. Can you generate repeat sales? If the company has a reputation for quality products you should be able to generate repeat business, build and hold your downline. That's what's necessary for any successful MLM plan. One of the best ways to spot a potential phony is a promise of a sizable guarantee if you don't at least make $100,000 or some other arbitrary high figure with their program in your first year. Honest companies can't possibly make such an offer or are not giving you the whole story. Read the fine print. To collect on the guarantee you probably have to fulfill a few little requirements. Like pay a year's worth of monthly dues, provide proof you distributed 25,000 brochures or have at least 10 people in your downline. I already told you how difficult it's to even recruit a couple of people and then hold on to them. The average MLM distributor has only 2.8 people is his slash her downline. Now look past at all the fancy double talk and see what, if any, commission you get with just two people. Still want to join? Get out a pencil and a piece of paper and figure it out for yourself. The guarantee is meaningless. Some other things to look for are A company with a proven track record in business for several years. MLM companies have a strange habit of folding up their tent with little or no warning. Don't get stuck holding the bag. Diverse product line. No door-to-door -door selling. That's a big hurdle. If product can be sold through a simple ad or catalog, it's a lot less wear and tear on you and burnout is slower. Initial small investment. Don't tie up big bucks buying sample kits, etc. Proven earnings potential. Talk to several successful members already doing the program. Can't find any? Then how good is the program? The basic MLM technique. To make any money selling a product or service on a commission-only basis, you have to have the ability to sell like the proverbial used car salesman. It's all hard sell and more often than not, involves forcing the prospect to buy whether it's good for him or not. Anyone who has ever attempted to succeed in commission sales, knows that it takes a product in great demand, a great deal of sales calls, advertising and persistence, at least a little bit of failure and a tremendous amount of total business moxie to make any money at it. Most new people in MLM make the serious mistake in trying to build their first level too wide. They personally want to recruit as many people as they can. They reason that if they sponsor enough people on this first level some of these people will magically sell for them. Bad mistake. If you can't sell the product or service, how can you expect to train others to sell? You have just got to have a method that you, your people and their people can easily duplicate. This is the fundamental basic rule that makes MLM promoters wealthy. Violate it and you're dead in the water. You must learn how to sell and teach others how to sell. Another unique problem with MLMers is that they find it difficult to generate leads. That is, once you have joined a MLM company, who do you find to sell? Where do you find interested people to talk to? Lead generation is generally very awkward. Since the principle of MLM is that all selling is done by word of mouth, advertising just doesn't seem to fit. If advertising is used, it's mostly used nationally and the long distance phone calls for following up gets to be expensive quickly. Generally, if your upline gives you a few leads a month, you're lucky. 
MLM companies come up with all kinds of disguised ways to overcome the selling and lead generation problems. They try to teach you how to share your product with friends and relatives. They want you to bring your potential distributors to raw, raw opportunity meetings. And yes, they show you how you can lose a lot of money by trying to sponsor new distributors by long distance. Another theory that MLM companies will tout is that you should be 100% loyal to only them. They insist that you're active only with their MLM company. This goes against human nature. I know many people who are in MLM but not one of them is in only one program. Most MLMers get into several MLM companies. All quality MLM companies have first class promotional material and services that you can use. This can include expensive full color literature, audio tapes, videotapes, local and national meetings, training seminars, and the like. They encourage you to have number 800 phone voice box mail services and fax machines. This is all geared primarily to sponsor local people and it works when you're primarily selling face to face but none of this is worth a plugged nickel if you're trying to sell by mail. It's way too expensive. Here's how the typical MLM promoter can lose a lot of money. First, he signs up in an MLM program. Next, he decides to sponsor as many people as he can. Surely if he gets 100 people in his first level, he can get 1000s in his organization. Wrong. To sponsor 100 people fast, he advertises in USA Today under business opportunities. 90% of all ads in this section are MLM companies and distributors. He gets to spend about $500 for one week with a tiny ad. Next, he gets a voice box mail service with a pre-recorded message. Now he sits back and sure enough he gets about 50 to 100 leads. That's $5 to $10 a lead cost. He now has about 100 leads that he must call back at his cost and he'll probably have to call several times to catch these people. Another cost of $5 to $10 for everyone that he talks to. Some of the people are genuinely interested and they want more information and literature. He has to send the expensive $10 to $20 video with the expensive literature otherwise he can't possibly sign anyone up without meeting him face to face. Send it all out. Now we're up to $30 to $50 cost on just this one person. Oh well, we have now sent out the expensive packages and we'll see what happens. Probably nothing. Well, that's what follow-up phone calls are for. Another cost. More time. And if he is lucky, he will finally sign up one or two new distributors. What a messy, costly way to do this. The key to making it in MLM is first be sure that the product you're promoting has mass appeal. Does it sell itself and will people stand in line to buy it? Think about the product. Is it a product that you would use regularly and freely recommend to your friends? Is it lower priced, more convenient to use than similar products available elsewhere, particularly at the stores in your area and finally, what about delivery? How much of a time interval is involved from when your customer orders until he receives the product? Then you have to offer money making information upfront for a fee or for free and advertise your MLM program along with it. If you don't want a flood of responses by offering free information, you charge a few dollars for it to get serious people. You could write a short, one-page report outlining the basic success secrets of multi-level marketing. You can tagline this report with an invitation for the readers to send for a complete or more detailed manual or tape relative to multi-level marketing how-to, a directory or current listing of money-making multi-level programs or even a listing of other reports relative to money-making home businesses you have for sale. Advertise with an ad like Free Report MLM Money-Making Secrets 800-888-888 Getrich.com You teach your downline exactly what they're doing to teach their first level and they all become part of your downline and if you're wise, you not only promote just one MLM program but get into selling several lines of different MLM products. It will take time to accomplish this and you'll have to constantly keep them motivated with new techniques and pep talks.
the first objective in mail order slash internet sales is to develop your own customer base. Once you have a customer base of, let's say, 100 to 10,000, you can keep sending them your new offers of catalogs and keep reselling them. Professional mail order slash internet sales dealers talk in terms of the front end and back end. The front end is the method of simply getting customers even at no profit or at a slight loss. No professional mail order slash internet sales dealer will ever attempt to make a killing with advertising or mass mail to non-customers. It just doesn't happen. They will, however do a lot of advertising and mass mailings to build their customer base. A customer base is pure gold. These customers like to deal with you and they buy again and again as long as you have several offers and that brings up another fundamental point. To succeed in mail order slash internet sales, as with any business, you just have to have several products or offers to sell. If you don't, you will most likely lose money in trying. When it comes to advertising, these guys are pros. All will use tiny classified ads. If these ads get results, they will test and test and then place small one ads. When they have an offering and a publication fit, they then might place a large ad. Only then. You will rarely see them advertise in USA today. Way too expensive. They will use leader items. A leader item is an inexpensive report or item that typically sells for less than $5. By advertising a leader item that costs $2 or $3, you can expect to get orders directly. The objective is break even with your mailing and advertising costs and build your customer base. Reprintable reports are excellent for this. Sometimes you can actually make money right up front if you have a hot item. Everyone that buys the leader item will then get other literature included. It generally goes postage free. Do you see how they operate? Slowly but surely. Making money as they go. Testing and retesting. Let me recap what successful mail order slash internet sales dealers will do. Develop as many customers as they can. Promote nationally. Have several offerings. Develop cost effective ways to generate customers. Do you see some of the main differences between promoting MLM and mail order slash internet sales? In MLM, you should sign up only a few people on your first level. Say no more than 10 and then help them. With mail order slash internet sales, you want to develop as many customers as you can, 1000s if you can. With MLM, you want to sell locally and with mail order slash internet sales, you have to sell nationally. With MLM, you're told to be loyal to just one company but with mail order slash internet sales, you should have many offerings. Now that you understand the fundamentals of MLM and mail order slash internet sales techniques, let's see what it takes to promote MLM by mail. In all cases, you need to come up with a plan that makes sense. One that is good for you and can grow. If you're going to promote MLM programs by mail, wouldn't it make sense to operate your core business like a mail order slash internet sales business instead of a MLM business? Step by step MLM. 1. Start a mail order slash internet sales business selling something by mail. 2. Make money generating leads by circulating postcards and mini flyers in your local neighborhood. 3. Make several offerings. If you follow items 1 and 2 above, you will have developed a customer base and leads. Now you can start making money with repeat offerings. 4. Promote several MLM companies at the same time. That way, you can sign up one person in several programs. 5. Build your MLM programs deep. For the MLM programs that you're promoting, Try to get no more than 10 or so active people on your first level. Then show them how to use this plan. 6. Sell your product. By using mail order slash internet sales techniques, you will have generated a lot of leads. 7. Sell your MLM leads to your downline. That way, you get your downline off and running quickly. After you have 10 or so people in your first level, you will have probably generated 100s of extra leads. Usually, you will want to sell these leads to your downline. I'm not a bit opposed in making money while I am helping other people make money. 
8. Sell your instructional MLM manual to your downline. That way, they become automatically trained and you make a buck selling the reports to them. 9. Choose MLM programs that have literature that is cost effective to send out by mail. 10. And lastly, do not compete with the 10 people in your first level. Once you have 10 active people, share your success methods with them. If you have advertised, let them know what did best for you. If you do this right, you may want to back out of the mail order slash internet sales business and just let your 10 MLM downline people carry on. So there you have it. If you want to start on a shoestring, here's how. First you have to make up some kind of enticing money making report to sell by mail. Next pick at least one MLM company. Once you have selected at least one MLM program, buy or copy some postcards and mini flyers and then circulate them locally by including the money making offer with your report. By using this method, you will make a few bucks selling the $2 reports with the postcards. Use this customer base to recruit downliners. Train them for a low fee by selling them your complete package and you're off and running. You can even make money by selling your list of customers. There are all kinds of MLM programs. In many of them, you can join and stay active by just paying your yearly organizational fee. I believe in participating in MLM programs in which everyone is more or less forced to buy something every month. That way, you're more or less guaranteed that all members in your downline are contributing to your income. For example, I know some people that have over 1000 people in their organization but no one is buying anything. No one is making any money, just wasting it on recruiting new members. I realize that it's tougher to recruit people into a program that requires you to pay, say $50 a month. But then again, you don't have to recruit the world. Only 10 will do nicely. Encourage your downline members to participate in two or three MLM programs at the same time. Your efforts can be multiplied if you offer more than one MLM company. This is only true if you have a coherent plan to market more than one MLM program at the same time. If your MLM companies complement each other and they don't compete with each other, you have a chance to multiply your earnings. Therefore, if you can afford to handle two or three MLM companies, the MLM machine will maximize your profits for just about the same effort. Your first responsibility is to your first level and it's the most important thing to teach your people to do for their people. It's not that hard to do and you make money doing it. This concept is important. Offer the surplus leads that you have generated to your newly recruited people since, if recruited, they'll become part of your downline anyway. The way to get more leads is simply to come up with different products slash reports to advertise by mail order slash internet sales and use your responses as your new leads. You could give them your leads for free or offer to sale them for $1 each. In some MLM programs, the literature and videotapes are expensive to send out at cost. Let's say you have someone that is interested in your MLM program and the complete package of promotional material of color literature and videotapes etc. will cost you $20. Here is where most would-be MLM mail order slash internet sales types fall short. Instead of sending out everything like they should, they make their own poor copies and then tell the person if they're interested, they will send out the video or they tell the person to send $10 for the video. How do you think the prospective distributor feels? What does he think? He wonders if this is how he is supposed to sell this wonderful MLM program. Not a good impression. Instead, be totally upfront with these people. Remember, you only need to sign up only 10 or so people in your first level so you can be a little bit picky. For the inexpensive mailings, we ask for only a $1. For the expensive packages, we simply explain that we want to make sure he gets the complete promotional package but he has to pay for reviewing. If he is not interested, he can return it in good condition and will refund his money less the postage and handling costs. We only ask that we get paid for the postage and handling. That way, you can be assured that your prospective distributor is getting the complete first class package and you don't lose money sending it to him. Now, 
I realize that this person may instead send off for similar literature from someone else that is sending it to him free but how long do you suppose this person will continue to do this before he realizes he can go broke and how is he supposed to duplicate this method? You can't and don't want to personally sponsor everyone that is possible. Instead, you want 10 good active people. That way, you can be selective. In fact, if the truth were known, the people that you sponsor on your first level will have a tremendous advantage. If you have a sponsor that is actively promoting this program, he will be able to help you immediately with hot, fresh, qualified leads, people that already have these reports. Now compare that to sending off to one of those lone souls that offer free, second-rate literature. The point is that you offer a true value to all people that you sponsor. You have a first-class program. Don't give your services away free. Earn while you learn. And teach others to do what you do. Stay in touch with your first level of downline. After you sign up someone on your first level, stay in touch with him by letter or phone to make sure he is happy, active, and prospering. You want to do this for two reasons. First of all, your lifeline in MLM is to make sure that your first level of people have sponsored their fair share of 10 or so active people. If they're having trouble, help them out. Feed them leads and offer advice on what worked for you. The second reason is that if he has by chance become inactive, you must replace him with someone new. Your job is to make sure that you keep a vigorous first level of distributors that do the same as you. If someone becomes inactive or worse yet, never starts, don't fret. Some people just never will do anything. If that's the case, forget him and replace him. Offer cooperative advertising. Let's say you now have 10 strong active people in your first level. Wouldn't it be nice if they collectively went together and advertised? If each person threw in a few bucks, they could generate a lot of leads for them and their downline. It just takes a little bit of coordination on your part. After all, you know who your first level of people are and they don't necessarily know each other. It's up to you to make this suggestion to your people and it's easy to do. Why not try? They will probably appreciate your efforts. After all, they stand to earn a lot more money if they do so but you will have to put it together. Encourage your first level to participate in MLM training programs. Most MLM companies have methods available to help train you how to promote their products. If these are available, by all means buy them, attend the seminars and the like. They're generally well worth the money and time. Better yet, in some MLM programs, you can earn extra profits when your downline participates in this training program. By all means, take advantage of these fine programs. It will not only help you but it will help your downline and you can earn extra profits. Keep your lead generating methods separate from your MLM promotions. In other words, it's perfectly legal to promote an opportunity any way you want to as long as you don't tie this directly with the MLM company. That means that you can write your own advertisements, etc., and generate all kinds of leads. But when it comes time to discuss a particular MLM company then use the official MLM literature, guidelines, etc. when presenting that particular company, products, and opportunities. In that way, you're making a clear distinction between lead generating and promoting a particular MLM company opportunity. Use the mail order slash internet sales sales technique as your lead generating vehicle. That's the backbone purpose of the MLM program, to generate MLM leads. When it comes time to promote a particular MLM company, let your customers request literature for the MLM company, s, that interests them then use the official MLM literature. There are literally thousands and thousands of MLM distributors who will jump at the chance to tell you which companies you should get into and promote. If you want more advice, there are many books written by the experts. Every book and magazine article that you read and everyone that you talk to will almost assuredly have a vested interest. They're either openly or subtly trying to get you to sign up in their program. They will be quick to explain that there are golden rules and guidelines to follow. Some will tell you to stay away from ground floor opportunities since they're too risky. 
others, will explain that this is where the big money is. Some will explain why matrix MLM programs are better than others and vice versa. Some will adamantly advise you to be active in only one MLM company. Others try to sign you up in multiple companies. As I already said a few times, be careful when choosing MLM companies to sell for. Once a person joins into a new MLM program, he is vulnerable and needs a lot of help from something or someone. In many cases, his upline is not actively helping him for whatever reason. This happens a lot when the upline person is simply sponsoring as many people as he can with no regard to what happens to them after they get sponsored. In most standard MLM programs, it's important that the new person gets immediate assistance from a local person, meetings, or what have you. Otherwise his chances for survival are slim to none. If you can handle the embarrassment, find some kids and pay them $10 per thousands if they'll stand at the exits to all the shopping centers in your area and pass out one of your circulars to everyone as they leave the shopping center. The best kind of places to hand out your circulars are those that feature discount stores, recycled clothing stores and inventory reduction sales. Next on your list of places to hand out circulars should be flea markets, swap and shop events and even garage sales. You should also be calling in person on shopkeepers in the area. Show them each copy of your circular. Explain your program to them and offer them $10 if you can leave them on their counter or somewhere in the store. Be sure to leave a stack in all the barber shops and beauty salons, as well as at the counter in cafe restaurants, bowling centers, theaters, and the lodges of all the fraternal as well as labor unions in the area. Your next move is simply to duplicate these efforts in a neighboring town or city. Finally, the way to make it big in MLM is to get it on with organizations. If you go to the library, you will find many listings of local organizations that you can mail to. Any service company that offers a monthly service is excellent since they normally send out a bill to their customers. Your flyer can be sent postage free. If you have a friend or relative in this kind of business, he may do this for you as a favor. Some other ones are trade organizations, unions, consumer groups and organizations. Fundraising groups, youth organizations, schools, churches. Use the techniques your MLM companies offer and teach them to your downline. If you want to become active in speaking engagements, opportunity meetings, and the like, then that's another story, but don't get caught up in the glamour and tinsel that could mislead you after you have become a highly sought speaker. Chapter 2 An MLM Resource Guide. MLM Resources. Try hashtag 381.1, hashtag 658.84-86 or HF5415.12 at the library for books about MLM. Direct Selling Association. 1275, Pennsylvania Avenue. NW. Number 800. Washington, D.C. 20004. 202-347-8866. Fax. 202-347-0055 Info at dsa.org dsa.org Membership Group of Direct Selling Retailers MLM Scam Websites Best-MLM-Opportunities.com Slash Pyramid-Schemes.html Entrepreneur.com Slash Article Slash 0,46211,285135,00.html falseprofits.com mlmthetruth.com falseprofits.com slash mlmlies.html frauddiscovery.net frauddiscovery.net friendsinbusiness.com slash scam slash downline.shtml ftc.gov slash bcp slash conlany slash pub slash alert slash pyrdlrt.htm internetnextstep.com slash b2 evolution slash blog slash truth.php internetnextstep.com slash b2 evolution slash blog slash truth.php mlm-thetruth.com slash mlm underscore history.htm mlmaddy.com mlm attorney 
mlm-thetruth.com mlm-thetruth.com slash law underscore enforcement.htm mlmwatchdog.com en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash pyramid underscore scheme mlmwatch.org usanotebook.ca mlmsurvivor.com pyramidcheamalert.org realnetworkmarketing.com ripoffreport.com slash report slash ripoff84392.htm skeptic.com slash mlm.html ftc.gov slash bcp slash conlany slash pub slash invest slash mlm.htm realnetworkmarketing.com avoid scams tamingthebeast.net slash articles 5 slash mlm hyphen network hyphen marketing.htm usps.gov slash website slash depart slash inspect slash pyramid major mlm websites vandruff.com slash mlm.html multi-level marketing what's wrong with it mlmlegal.com mlm lawyer mlmlegal.com slash protection.html metroactive.com slash paper slash metro slash 10.03.96 slash cover slash multilevel 9640.html freemlmmoney.com bestemall.com slash mall busymoms.com bossbbb.org cashflow.com slash index mlm slash independent underscore representatives mlmia.com Multi-Level Marketing International Association MLMresources.com MLMwatchdog.com slash Lee underscore directory underscore MLM underscore companies dot HTML Networkmarketing.com slash Network Marketing Networkmarketing.com slash NMYP OceansTateNetworks.com slash List of Network Marketing Organizations SuccessfulPeople.com MLM websites. Advancingwomen.com slash wealth building slash network underscore marketing underscore what underscore really underscore is underscore network underscore marketing underscore and underscore MLM underscore bottom underscore line dot php. ADV math appl dot biz. Alternative network marketing dot com. ANM dot com. Austin network marketing. Art Basmagian dot com slash network marketing. Avon.com, Avon.ca, Cosmetics. BestBerryTree.com. BestEmall.com slash mall. BestMLMBusiness.com. Best-MLM-Opportunities.com. BigActionMedia.net. BusyMoms.com. BossBBB.org. BottomLineGrowth.com. BrilliantExchange.com. Business-opportunities.biz slash category slash network hyphen marketing hyphen tips. Buy MLM leads.com. Buy MLM leads.com greatest networker.com. BBNM.de. Carbon-copy-professional.com. Cashflow.com slash index. Choosergeanix.com slash income.htm. ChooserGAnix.com slash Organica RTI Klee slash MLM underscore network marketing dot htm. ChristianT.com slash MLM slash index dot htm. ChristianToday.com slash new slash ministry slash new dot Christian dot MLM dot network dot marketing dot training dot website dot launch slash 484 dot htm. DCFalter.com. Directory and pros.com. DrBobClark.com DreamPowerNetwork.com eBusinessBonanza.com ehome.compuserve.de slash lanshon 998 slash network hyphen marketing dot html EliteMLMLeads.com en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash mway en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash binary underscore plan en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash dxn en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash equinox underscore left parenthesis mlm en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash excel underscore communications long distance telephone services mlm 
en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash global underscore one underscore lending, MLM structure for loan agents. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash cleanies. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash manatech. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash MLM. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash multi hyphen level underscore marketing. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash multilevel underscore marketing online MLM.com. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash network underscore marketing. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash fill underscore mims go network marketing.com. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash primerica underscore financial underscore services, network marketing of financial services. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash residual underscore income. Energygrid.com slash business. Entrepreneur.com slash biz opportunity slash network marketing slash index.html. Excellentincome.net. Excellent-income.net. ExcelMLM.com. ExtremeOnlineBusiness.info. EasyNarticles.com slash question mark cat equal sign home based business colon network marketing. EasyNetMarketer.com. Find the our MLM opportunity.com. Find dash your dash MLM dash opportunity.com. Find the our MLM opportunity.com slash classifieds. Find the our y.com. First.uk.com slash MLM. FortuneNow.com. Free200leads.com slash op.html. Free Internet Business Course.com. Free MLM Newsletter.com. GageDirect.com slash products slash network market.html. GasSaver.ffitv.com. GenConsult.com. GetNetMLMProfits.com. GogEtMLM.com. GoTN.com. Vitamins. GoNetworkMarketing.com GoesMe.net, Software GreatestNetworker.com HealthInsuranceLeadsGuide.com HerbWorld.com HireResponse.com HolyGRailNetworkMarketing.com HomeBusinessFunding.us UsNetworkingTimes.com HomeworkingMom.com iLoveMLM.com ImportExportHelp.com slash IBD slash network hyphen marketing hyphen opportunities dot htm inc dash inc dot com slash MLM network dot html income max dot com slash MLM underscore and underscore network underscore marketing infotraxis dot com software internet dash MLM dash home dash business dash opportunity dot com internetworkmarketing dot com itworks.net, herbs, gencon.com, software, johnsuccess.com, lab621.com slash local scene slash wyoming slash freedom.html, freedom, wy, leadersclub.com, leadlists.com, mailing lists, leads to your success.com, lifeforce.net, lifeforcedistributor.com, lifeplus.com localleadflow.com lottery-syndicate.net slash best underscore network underscore marketing underscore ch magnetic sponsoring online.com make cash tomorrow.com longevity product manatech.com marketing next level.com marketwaving.com slash article slash mlm name game dot asp marykay.com Cosmetics. Masternetworker.com. Melaleuca.com Residual Business Income Opportunity.com. Mentoringforfree.com. Merarwick.com slash network marketing.htm. Mindpower.smartads.info slash MLM. MLM.4MG.com. MLM.business-opportunities.biz. MLM.com. MLMads.com MLMaddy.com MLMBigfish.com MLMBlog.typepad.com MLMBlog.typepad.com 
mlmblogdirectory.com mlmblonde.com mlmbrilliance.com mlmbrilliance.com mlmbydesign.com mlmdir.com mlmdir.com mlm-directory.com slash mileyp slash mileyp.htm mlmfocus.com mlmfocus.com mlmforums.com mlmgonewild.com mlmgorilla.com mlmhelp.com mlmhome.com mlmia.com mlmindex.ca, Canada mlminformation.org mlminsider.com mlmknowhow.com mlmlaw.com mlm-law.com mlmleadexplosion.com mlmleaduniverse.com mlmlegal.com mlmlessons.com mlm-mall.com mlmmarketingpower.com mlmmarketingtips.com mlmmoney4u.com mlmnetworkmarketing.spaces.msn.com slash personalspace.aspx mlmorgpt.com mlmplayers.com mlmplayers.com mlmpowermarketing.com mlmpro.com software mlmreview.com mlmsoftware2000.com mlmsofttwarepro.com mlmstartup.com mlmstartup.com mlmsweden.com mlmtc.com mlmtc.com slash enterprise.htm mlmtrafficformula.com mlmtrainingtools.com mlmu.com mlmvsgpt.com mlmwatch.org mlmwatchdog.com mlmweb.de mlmwoman.com mlmwoman.com mmmonthly.com moneymakergroup.com multilevelresource.com multilevelsoftware.com multiplestreamsoftincome.com keyword free falter book multiplestreamsoftincome.com keyword still skeptical mymlmhome.com mysimplemlmformula.com natureseouth.com slash mlm business opportunity netminers.com networkers-dream.com networkleads.com networkmarket.meetup.com networkmarketing.ffine.eu.com networkmarketing.li network-marketing.mcdar.net networkmarketing.sitesell.com networkmarketing.teamschuman.com network-marketing.team-schuman.com networkmarketing.uk.com networkmarketingbusinessjournal.com networkmarketinginternational.com networkmarketingleaders.com networkmarketingltd.com networkmarketingmlmleads.net networkmarketingnews.com networkmarketingpro.org networkmarketingsite.com networkmarketingsuccess.com networkmarketingsuccessblog.com networkmarketingsuccesstips.com networkmarketingtelesummit.com networkmarketingtimes.com networkmarketingtimes.com 800 946-7804 network-marketing-top.com networkmarketingworks.com network-marketing-works.com networkteam.com networkworld.com new twosistersgourmet.com specialty foods nimsoft.com nmbj.com business journal nofearnetworkmarketing.com NoniJuicent.com slash Tahiti and Noni MLM Bulletin Signs S Opportunity 1.htm Npros.com Npros.com slash Directory.asp Online MLM.com 
Online MLM Explosion.com Online MLM Secrets.com 1 SDMLM Network Marketing.com Online Network Marketing.com Opportunity Technologies.com Optian MLM Leads.com Oxmx.com Passionfire.com Pillfreevitamins.com Plexum.com Slash Network PowerIncomeBuilding.com PowerMLM.com PrimeNet.com Slash Hyphen McGrath Slash Test.html Prodigy9Software.com ProfitClinic.com Slash MLM ProMarketLeads.com ProMLMLeads.com RandyGage.com RegentPress.com Network Marketing RenegadeMLM.com RetailWithNetworkMarketing.com RevolutionForever.com Perfume SafeMLMLeads.com Sales and Marketing Network.com Scott.net scriptcarch.com slash pearl slash scripts underscore and underscore program slash multi hyphen level underscore marketing secretbiz.com sheffieldnet.com sheffieldnet.com slash legalwitness.htm mlm legal witness sipartners.com sixfigureincome.com smallbusinessnots.com slash starting slash mlm info.html startinbusiness.co.uk slash network.htm sdepintosuccess.com streetsmartwealth.com successfulpeople.com successin10steps.com successway.com sws.com books for network marketing tbeinc.com slash bsmlm001.html techdirectory.ws slash guide slash 2709.aspx technorothy.com slash tag slash network plus sign marketing theaimcompanies.com vitamins the network marketing magazine.com venueentrepreneurs.com theohanasecret.com theoriginalnetworker.com christian the spiderwebsystem.com ThinkDirectMarketing.com TMG5.com TMG5.com slash marketing.asp Tools.devshead.com Top-MLM.org TruthOfMLM.com Unicap.br slash BS slash network hyphen marketing.html Unlimited reseller hosting.ning.com slash profile slash blog slash how hyphen you hyphen can hyphen eliminate hyphen MLM. Upline.com. Usana.com, vitamins. Vandruff.com slash MLM.html. Varshitha.com. Vertexer.com, mailing lists. VIPGo.net. VIPGo.net. WRNMarketing.com. WatkinsOnline.com Web-Ads.com slash 1108.html WeBuildDreams.com WillRoseMarketing.com slash MLM slash MLM slash MLM hyphen star hyphen WM.html Yarnell.com YourArtNow.com YourMLMSolution.com YourMLMSolution.com Chapter 3 Directory of MLM Companies MLM Magazines You can use MLM methods to market any product. It doesn't have to be an MLM company, just any direct sales companies that you can get product from. Some of the companies listed are direct sellers not MLM. Get the following magazines to get an idea of the current offers. Some of the companies I list may be out of business by now, that's the nature of MLM. Money Makers Monthly 6827 West 171st Street Tinley PK IL 60477 708-633-8888 Fax 708-633-8889 MMMonthly.com Network Marketing Magazine Cutting Edge Opportunities 
Magazine. 29, South Market Street. Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, 17022. CuttingGEmedia.com. MLM Companies in General. 1800PartiesHop.com. Amway.com. Arbonne.com, Skincare. Avon.com, Cosmetics. Beautycontrol.com. CreativeMemories.com. DiscoveryToysInc.com. XLIR.com, Telecommunications. Longaburger.com, Baskets. MaryKay.com, Cosmetics. Nature'sVeryBest.com, Cosmetics. PamperedChef.com, Kitchenware. Rexall.com, Drugstore Products. Shackley.com, Household Care and Health. Products. Tupperware.com. Watkins.com. Weekenders.com. Amway Corp. 7575 Fulton Street. Ada, Michigan, 49355-0001. Fax, 616-676-8140. Amway.com. Could be the biggest MLM company, selling. Cleaning products and other things. Fuller Brush Co. 800-523-3794. Personal care products, not just brushes. Jaffra Cosmetics. 800-551-2345. Mary Kay Cosmetics. 16251 North Dallas Parkway. Dallas, Texas, 75248-2696. 800-627-9529. 972-687-6300. Marike.com. Melaleuca Incorporated. 800-282-3000. Skincare, Health Supplements. Nancy Corp. 800-825-8848. Fax, 800-765-8848. Health Supplements. Nikon Incorporated. 800-669-8859. Fax, 800-669-8856. Bedding, massager, etc. Nuskin. 800-487-1500. Skincare. Omni Nutrition. 800-348-6664. Shackley US, Inc. 800 Shackley. Health Supplements. Watkins. 800-533-8018 Spices, foodstuffs, health products, cleaning Products Beauty and health products Avon products 9 West 57th Street New York, New York, 10019 212-546-6015 Avon.com Elise Cosmetics 800-235-9733 Gaffer Cosmetics 800-551-2345 Mary Kay Cosmetics 16251 North Dallas Parkway Dallas, Texas, 75248 972-687-6300 MaryKay.com Netways Cosmetics 150 E400 N. Salem, Utah, 84653. 801 423 2800. Fax, 801 423 2350. New Generation. POG 20160. Reno, Nevada, 89515. Nuskin. 800 487 1500. NutriCare Nutritionals. 888 NutriCare. General Merchandise MLM. Discovery Toys. 2530 Arnold Drive No. 400. Martinez, California, 94553. Educational Books, Games, and Toys. 
Electrolux Vacuum Cleaners. 2300 Windy Ridge Parkway. Number 900. Atlanta, Georgia, 30339. 770-993-1000. Vacuum Cleaners. Shackley Corp. 444 Market Street. San Francisco, California, 94111. 800 Shackley. Everything. Tupperware. POG 2353. Orlando, Florida, 32802. 407 847 3111. Fax, 407 826 5050. Tupperware.com. Watkins. 150 Liberty Street. Winona, Minnesota, 55987. 800 533 8018. Watkins.com. Everything.